Loops are a great way to build a track here in GarageBand, but you may have noticed that we have these green loops as well as our regular blue wave files. So in this video, I'm gonna explain what these are and how we can use them here in GarageBand. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete, this is Studio Live Today, where I help you create, record, and release your best music. And if you've been using GarageBand here on the iPhone or the iPad, you've probably played around with loops. They're these sound files that we can tap, drag, bring across into our files, and hit play. And we suddenly have some cool different sounds and loops here in our tracks. But you may have also noticed that as well as these WAV file versions, we have these ones here, which are green note symbols instead. So what do these do? Well, these are MIDI loops. So when we tap on these, We get the preview just like we do a regular loop, but let's tap and hold and drag one of these over into our project and release. And look what we have here. We actually get the MIDI note information here in our track, in our project, instead of an actual WAV file, which gives us a heap more flexibility. So we can hit play if we wanna play this back. Just like a regular loop, but if we tap, tap again, and tap on edit, we can actually come in here now and actually edit the MIDI note data. So this means we've got complete flexibility over what we want to play. So say we wanted to change some of these notes. Now we can actually play this back. and we get a different sound. So we've got the ability to actually edit these notes right here in our MIDI editor. And you'll notice if you look to the side here that it's actually using our piano instrument. So if we tap on the instrument here, we're right here in our piano. So it's just actually programming in information and there's other MIDI loops that use our alchemy synths and other instruments with MIDI loops right here in GarageBand. Now, as well as the ability to manually edit these, we can actually come into the settings here in the top right corner, scroll down, and we can actually change the tempo and the key signature here. So if we wanted this to be in a different key, we just tap this, and let's say we wanted this in A major instead of C, we can now come back and play. And it's in a different key. We'll hit undo on that one. We can also use our settings here. So we'll tap, we'll tap again and go to settings. And we can actually change things like the velocity, the looping. We can adjust the quantization. And we can even do manual transposing. So what if we wanted to take this just down, say, four semitones? Well, we can do that and then hit play. And we get a different sound based on that. We can even do even stranger things, which are probably not going to work for a sample like this. We can change the speed. So let's double the speed and let's reverse this sample and hit done. Let's take a listen to what this sounds like now. Not quite sure what track that is going to fit into, but this is a pretty cool way to build your track out and get a more melodic sound rather than using those predetermined loops that you can't actually adjust the sound. And once we're ready to start building out the rest of our song, we can use our other loop types here. So let's come in here and grab a drummer loop here and throw this on here. And now let's hit play with these two. And we can start building out our track. So we want the first four bars with Darcy on her intro. We can then come back here and let's just jump the heart to heart here. Something like this. Yeah, we'll tap it to preview. We'll tap and drag and bring that in for the rest of our track. Here's what that transition will sound like now. And you can see that we can quickly start mixing these sounds, getting this sounding right. We can record vocals. We can add bass. We can add other more conventional loops over the top of this. So the sky's the limit in terms of this. But there you go. There is the MIDI loops. Yet another way that we can build a song here in GarageBand. And there you have it. If you want to learn a heap more about using loops to create sounds here in GarageBand, there's two more videos linked down below. You can also subscribe to the channel by clicking or tapping on the Studio Live Today icon in the top right corner. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.